Okay, we're gonna go through I'm Abomination. Now the song starts off with an E flat minor chord. And the way you play that is six on low E, six on A, fourth fret on D, third fret G. You play that for four beats. Then comes the main riff. And the way you play that is like this. You've got to think of it in groups of three or six. Similar to the E flat chord. So six, low E, then six on A. Four, three on D. Six on A, then four on D. And you play that around seven times, and then the ending is... Four, three. Six, four, three on D, six on A, seven, four, seven, six, four on low E. I'll go over that again. So four on D, three on D, six on A, seven, six, four on low E. And if you join it together, you get the riff. Um, it's tricky. Make sure you practice it slowly. Go for it note by note, just how we did it at the beginning. Then slowly build it up to tremolo picking. Now there are backing chords behind that that the other guitarist is playing. It's E flat, which we've discussed. And the last two chords are B minor, 7, 5, 4, 7, low E, 5 on A, 4 on D. Then to the F sharp minor, 9 on A, 7 on D, and 6 on G. And the way I fret those chords is like this, little finger, middle finger, first finger. So doing this Varg style by singing the riff on top and playing the backing chords, so, there's a fill. And right at the end, you just strum two E flat minor chords. It's fairly straightforward. And so that riff goes on. And then you've got that little break there. So that's three power chords. You've got a B5 power chord, seven on nine on E and A. And you've got an E flat power chord, six and eight on A and D. Then move it two frets up to a F power chord, eight and 10. Eight on A, 10 on D. So, play again. Then it comes that next riff, which I was just playing. So it follows the same notes and the same um, rhythm as the main riff, but you just play it in power chords. So let's just lead with our first finger here, because it's the same chord shape, which we've gone over. So we can just move our first finger and make this easier for ourselves. So we first start with six on low E, six on A, nine on A, eight on A, Six on A, and then back to nine on A, and then you just add your power chord shape. I'm not used to playing it with a single finger. And then if you add your power chord each time. Then it sounds more like it. You can use your third finger or your little finger to play power chords, it doesn't really matter, I just mix, mix them up sometimes. And the 
second time around, you change your starting note and you move that to a B power chord here. So then now you start one fret higher on seven on nine on low E. And the ending, ninth fret on A and D, and eleventh fret, ninth fret and eleventh fret on A and D. Move it back one fret, move it back two frets. So your first finger movement will be nine, eight, six. Then your first finger movement will be six, seven, six, four. But played in power chords. So that's like a good chunk of the song already, and a lot of that repeats at the end of the song, so we don't need to go over it again. And now comes to the part where it gets really fucking tricky. So the next bit. So it starts off with these power chords. And all that is is moving from E to F and back. That's the movement. So use one pitch strike. And it's separated with a low E chug. Just low E palm muted. And make sure you always go back to this low E, otherwise it won't sound right. Then comes this little tail here. And that's hammer-ons. So you start with the 7th fret, low E. Hammer-on 1 fret, so 7 and 8. Move it 1 fret down, so 6, 7. Then, then 8th fret on A, hammer-on. 8 to 9. Then 7 to 8 on A. And now the hammer-on technique, if you don't know, is when you smash your finger down, so it mimics a pick strike. Because it's not, it's not a picked, it's not a picked riff. It's hammered on. And then, the second time that riff plays, you add the tail twice. Now, if you're a bit more into the like time signature aspect of it. It, the riff goes from 3-4 and then finishes with a bar of 4-4 four, four. and then the next time round the riff is played it finishes with an, another bar of 4-4 four, four. so it's 1-2-3-4, 1-2-3-4 and then that riff repeats around a few times and then so that I don't need to go over that because you can just listen to the song and play along to it here's just that's just the chords and the way to play you can structure all of that yourself and then comes this riff and this riff goes from a bar of four to a bar of five to a bar of six. Um, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a nightmare. So what you want to do is just be very conscious of the open A, because you play that for two beats. And then for the other two um, beats of that bar, in the first half, you just do a pull off and a hammer on, a hammer on the pull off. So you pick the seventh fret on D, then hammer on the eighth fret on D, then flick your middle finger off while keeping your first finger fretted, getting that sound. And you move that one fret higher. So slowly, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And then the next time round is the bar of five, where you move up the trilled riff um, an extra fret higher. So it's seven, eight, nine. And then the last part, you move it up four times, so it's nine, <laughs> no, sorry, seven, eight, nine, ten. With the hammer on. 
It's hard. It's really hard. And then it goes back into that riff. So I'll just play. I'll just play the section. That section of the song, um, starting from the first um, sliding power chord riff. So that's how that little extra break with the trilled notes uh, fits in. And I'll go over that again if you haven't 100% got it. So you just tremolo pick the low, um, the A string for two beats, one, two, and then the first time on the riff, on the beats three and four, you do a trill. Just as, hot, as fast as you can, hammer on and pull off on the seventh and eighth fret, and then on the eighth and ninth fret. And then the second time of that riff, again, play the A for two beats, then the hammer on pull off notes will be seven and eight, eight and nine, nine and ten. And then, on the fourth time round, again, two bars of your open eight, two beats, sorry, my bad. And then your um, trilled movement will be seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we're leading with our first finger, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's where you want to position your finger, um, your, ha um, your fingers. You want to lead with your first finger. And everything is in reference to your first finger. And then it comes to this chaotic, frantic riff that changes from eight, eight sorry, four four to six four, and I can't remember off the top of my head when exactly it does that. But I'm gonna play it, and we're just gonna break it down. So that's the whole section. Now it starts off with an open D tremolo pick, then eighth fret on G, then tremolo pick open D, then the ninth fret on G. Um, yeah, ninth fret on G. Open eight, open nine. Then comes these um, diminished chords. So the first two chords are strummed. And the last one's tremolo pick. So it's just the tritone. So fifth fret A, sixth fret D, seventh fret G. And you move that up three frets. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Then it changes to the lower strings. So we have 7 on D, 8 on G, 9 on B. So, so far. Nice and, nice and difficult and awkward and ugly sounding. Then, um, I've seen live that they kind of palm mute this, this part here. And they play just, just, normal, just picking the last note normally. So you're on the D string playing 9th fret and then 10th fret, palm muted. Then moving down to the 6th fret, uh, play normally. So, so far. So that's what we have. The next part. Those notes there. 
So seventh fret on D on D, tenth fret D, ninth fret G, eighth fret G, then tenth fret on D. So far, slowly, just without trying to pick it. That's what we have so far. At speed. And here comes the nice heavy bit. So what we're doing is we're going to be playing an inverted power chord by palm muting the 5th fret on low E and A. And then in between that, we're going to be playing the 8th fret on G. And then playing that same power chord again. And then sharpening the next note, so it's eight, no, eight to nine on G. So sharp chord, fifth fret on low E and A. Tremolo pick the eighth fret on G, and the ninth fret on G. So that's the first half, first part of that um, chaos riff. Then the next time round, after the. You've got this little ending added here. So there is B, 10, 9, then 12 on high E. So, so far. Then go back to those chugs. And that's the whole of that section and that's all the bits you need to learn from that and I think this next one is the oops, the last riff of the of the song um, by the last riff of the song I mean the last riff that you need to learn from this song and the way you play that you can make the picking a bit frantic and, and chaotic here so you're playing an open A and D and you're playing a power chord like this here so the notes I'm playing are the 7th fret of D uh, 9th fret of G and the 10th fret of B and at the end I'm moving it up a fret, so it's 8, 10, 11, then moving it two frets back, so it's 6, 8 and 9 on the same string. That's all of the riffs from I'm Abomination. So quick recap, going through them one by one. You've got this riff here. And then the backing chords behind that. And then you have that little break riff in the first in the first and last verse. Then which is the second half of the verse. Then you've got the fast uh, sliding power chords with the hammer-on ending. 
break riff again that goes from a bar four to five to six back into the sliding power chords then the chaos riff And then the last um, open string with power chords. Really. And then after that, the song goes back into the chaos. Riff. That one, then it's. That hammer on riff, and then it goes back into the um, that little break riff, and then it starts from the original verse again. So, yeah, that's I'm Abomination. Um, going, that's the song riff by riff. Um, hope you enjoyed, and good luck trying to play that because it's it's hard.